I've little doubt that all of Amsa's fans, card members, and whatever nonsense he has going on in his Adonis school program is coming to this video now all upset with me and saying, how can you disrespect the great man or all of that nonsense? If I take a step back, as a starting point, why are you worshipping this man that you have this like deep association with him that you want to defend him? But that's a separate matter I'll get into later. More importantly, recognize that his every move isn't perfect. Neither is my nobody's is. What I do want to also emphasize is that Hamza, if you are watching this, I want you to take this with some like masculine criticism. Like you, you've read the way of a superior man. Enjoy your friend's criticism. I'm not your friend, I admit that. But I do want you to take some masculine criticism here because I do think you are, or at least have the potential to be a positive force in this space. But lately you have left quite a sour, bitter taste in my mouth. I have to tell you that. So as a starting point, the way he broke up with his woman, or the reasoning behind it rather, really does leave me questioning a lot of his life decisions and a lot of what he preaches actually. If you haven't watched the video, the gist of it is he broke up with his woman because his woman wanted to be like in isolation all of that and he wanted to be more social. That was his reasoning. But if I now dive into his supposed socializing that he's been doing now, He's actually been doing like the stupid kind. I mean, he spoke about in one of his videos. That was the last of his videos I watched and probably would watch for a while now. But he spoke about in one of his videos how he was at this hotel or something like that. And he was with two of his friends who, no offense, sound like absolute, absolute Jeffries. Even he said they sound like Jeffries. Jeffries is basically these guys he mocks. But nonetheless, why are you associating with these people when you left a quality woman, a woman that you are going to like start a family with, marry, all of that. Why did you leave her to spend time with these people? It doesn't make sense to me. And yes, you might have argued these people you just met down, it's actually a good chance it is. But you can see there's a flaw in his logic there. He went from being with a woman in the countryside, I think it was in Scotland or something, with a woman that he was going to spend the rest of his life with, to spend some time in some hotel somewhere, fair enough, it's five star, all that's a fancy, ooh. But... It doesn't make sense to me. And with all due respect to him, I mean, he's made a huge impact to my life. But to me, it seems like he's going down a Jeffrey path now himself. I mean, this whole thing also about him saying he needs to put on a whole persona to, like, keep her attraction. Bro, I mean, come on. So you're saying you need to be some other fake made-up guy you've just created in your head to be, get some girl to be attracted to. Like, without being disrespectful to you, you've done a lot. But to me, that sounds like you're still a beta male. The fact that you have to put on some other, like, shield or armor to get the attraction of a woman. I'm sure you can see there's some flaw in that logic. Now, I'm not saying you mustn't have game. I mean, I frankly, I'm someone who used to like game, and it has improved my relationships a lot to have that game and all of that. But no personas, bro. I mean, come on. So that's another factor that I didn't like. Now, another thing that I haven't liked that's been going on with him is I also subscribed to his mail list. I actually unsubscribed recently. I don't see value in it anymore, unfortunately, but I'll put it up on my um, video in a bit. But he made this whole thing about telling this woman like while well, on WhatsApp or whatever, messaging up, that women know what they're doing and now he's telling this girl to behave like, oh, he's trying to tell the boys there's some big stuff telling a woman to behave. Bro, you are, I don't even know how old you are, like 26, 27, late 20s. You are more mature than be coming on to like some email list and tell, telling the boys that you told a woman to behave. What kind of man are you that you're looking for the validation from? Frankly, guys, you don't even know. Fair enough, you know the guys in Don's school. But guys, you don't even know. You're looking for their validation. That you told some women to behave. I'm sure you're starting to see the flaws in your logic. As a final nail in the coffin to like that side of things at least. He has his like ego lately and he's always had an ego. Which I think an ego to some extent is good when the ego is confidence. But he's taken the ego to a point of just being stupid. In the sense that now he's like, oh in the West, I believe he said something like, in the West, the only successful men are the men who follow him. He has 2 million subscribers, about 10,000, okay, probably more than 10,000, I'm misquoting, probably 50,000 people. 
religiously watches videos. So you're saying there's only 50,000 men who are like doing stuff. And actually of the 50,000 men, most of them probably aren't that successful. I'm not that successful yet, so I'm not going to lie to you. And if you like imagine like some like 50 year old man, of course he's not watching Hamza. Why would a 50 year old man who's a multimillionaire has a feminine woman by his side? Why would he be watching Hamza's videos? So you also need to tone down on that arrogance and ego because this now dives into my next like phase I want to talk about. All religion speaks about ego being the enemy. Even he read a book he, like in his early days on YouTube. He spoke about the some book I believe who actually was titled Ego is the Enemy. So why is he walking around now with this huge ego? Believing that oh, you know what, I can walk around with this big ego because it's cool. Bro, you're leaving a bitter taste in my mouth and the mouth of like almost everyone who like has a bit of a brain. Cut back a bit. So I'm not saying having some sort of confidence is a problem. Being confident in yourself and being like aware of your abilities and your ambition. That's a great thing, a really great thing. But not to the point where you like, say, I'm sorry, but I have to keep bringing this up. That you're now sending strangers a screenshot of you telling a woman to behave. Like, uh, actually, <laughs> this is thinking more I'm speaking about it. So I'm saying if you are watching this, I do want to tell you as a starting point, I do have a lot of respect for you in the sense that you brought many men and even myself to an extent, not a great extent, but to some extent. You did get me out of this place where I was like suicidal and depressed and all of that. And for that, I will always be grateful for you and have like the sense of appreciation for you. But now you are getting to a point where I haven't unsubscribed from you, but it actually has been getting to the point where I have been considering it in the sense that you don't align to the teachings you are giving at the start. And you do then talk about, yes, you are constantly changing. That's the whole point of self-development. And that I do agree with. But you also have to bear in mind that I'm a fellow YouTuber. So I, I have this like mindset as you. If you aren't set in your current belief, don't make a video on it yet. I've made this mistake once or twice in the past where I wasn't fully set on belief. It actually leads to those videos. Because the thing is, if you're now making a YouTube video on a belief you're not certain of, then why are you telling it to the boys? You're just creating more confusion in them and you're creating like the sense of hostility as it has in me at least where I'm saying this guy keeps just changing his mind. Now I understand your point of saying like, oh, I'm a self-developer, I've changed, you haven't. But for me, that's a very surface level brain dead response in all due respect in the sense that it's like the cool NPC thing to say, oh, I've changed, you haven't. But think about it. You have young men, I mean, fair enough, a lot of your audience is probably around my age, like early 20s. But you have young men, 13, 14 year olds, who are following you more or less to the T or trying to become like you. Now, if you change your mind all the time, what exactly are they following? A man who's indecisive? And that in itself is probably another problem in relationships now in the sense that you want a leader guiding the relationship. So if you have an indecisive man guiding the relationship, then the relationship is just going to like crumble. Actually, that's another thing. I thought I was done talking about relationship, but nothing just came to mind now, bro. You spoke about the fact that you want to like start a wife, I mean a family with this woman and make this woman your wife. And that's great and I understand relationships and I'm not mocking you for that. I mean, that I understand all heartedly. But here's the thing, you also then spoke about many videos ago, all the degeneracy and all of that, and how you would want to have a woman that hasn't had any sexual relations with someone else. We all want that. But now you've created more degeneracy in the sense that you spoke openly about all the things you did to this woman. And that in itself, I don't think you should have done personally, but in fairness, I'll give you some space here. You are a much more successful and established YouTuber than me, so maybe that was the right thing to do, but I don't think it was, in the sense that now another man is going to come onto YouTube and say, okay, well, this woman here was dating Hamza. She now, he now sees this woman and is like, yeah, I'm not going to date her because I've heard all the things Hamza's done to her. I'm like, I, I don't want to have that image in my mind. I mean, what man would want that like image in his mind as 
he's like dating her, wifing up and all of that. So that's a separate matter where you've actually potentially screwed up her future of relationships and all of that. But again, that's with my car lights on. Side note, sorry boys. Um, but yeah, that's just another side note that just crossed my mind. But for me, the overarching theme here now is we need some like other men to talk about their relationships that isn't Hamza because I believe a lot of men is following Hamza's advice and with all due respect it doesn't work so we've seen what's happened with his relationship and frankly I've never applied his advice in my relationship and without being a douchebag about it it seems to be going much better than he's ever did and that's not to say he's a fake or anything like that Hamza's pretty is about as legit as you can get He's a genuine guy. But the problem is he's talking about stuff that he himself is so figuring out. So like him talking about business is perfectly fine. I actually made a video on business about like my initial phases. But you'll see I for the most part don't talk about business because it's something that I'm still figuring out for myself. Likewise he shouldn't be talking about relationships because he's still figuring it out for himself. So I think you need to, you the young man who's watching this now, find other men who are like good with relationships or that and start following them personally i do think i am up to the task without tooting my own horn but if you don't want me and want like a more experienced more mature guy i do believe i have the experience but i don't have the maturity yet in certain sense i'm already 22 so i'll give you that space so you don't have to follow my advice to the either but there's a guy who i saw him popping off recently i'm um, ryan hawken or something like that check him out married man jordan peterson's advice for me is actually perfect like Here's the thing, a lot of guys say they shouldn't f like follow Jordan Peterson's advice, but I mean, think about it, he's been, okay, his wife passed away, passed away and all that, but he had a successful marriage. Why would you not follow his advice? It makes no sense to me, just because he's not like the most attractive looking. That in itself is actually more, in my mind, more reason why you should follow his advice. In the sense that he attracted and maintained this proper relationship without the good looks and all of that, but I'm drifting a bit. For me, I think what the next phase should be above all this relationship stuff and all of that. We as young men, we need to turn to religion. I actually have a video that I recorded like two weeks ago, but it's coming out tomorrow about like my findings with religion and all of that. So if you don't, don't even subscribe to me yet, bro. I'm being honest, don't subscribe to me yet. But if you are on like in tune with my religion, just findings, all of that, um, check out my video tomorrow. I do talk about like a surface level introduction into it and about next week i haven't shot the videos yet but i do have a script in mind for videos i do want to talk about religion because i do think this masculinity side of the space now is it's run its course in the sense that yes it's useful yes you need to be a masculine man but everyone knows that now and again hamza has taken it to a point where you're actually becoming a stupid masculine man where at that point you're actually not even masculine anymore so I do think you need to turn to religion, as in what religion, to be completely open with you in this very video. I was born a Muslim, wasn't um, practicing it very in depth, purely because I couldn't get behind the religion. I didn't believe in it and that was that. But around a month ago at this point, I started looking to Christianity, it just happened through like partial conversation with my woman, but also through like just me exploring now this like new layer of my development and for me Christianity is the one that appears to be the truth appears to be the right way but I'm not going to sit here and preach that side of things to you yet in the sense that I'm still figuring out some sides of it now so my videos won't be tackling it head on at this point but more importantly I do think men as a whole now so you the man watching this needs to take some authority and figure out what religion works best for you and this oftentimes wouldn't be the religion of the family you born into so bear that in mind so i think i've had my rounds here uh yeah hamza if you are watching this i i want to say i mean no disrespect for you but i kind of actually do mean disrespect in the sense that you really have let yourself go in the sense that i understand everyone has their ups and downs and all of that so i do Sincerely hope you do come out of this for your own sake, but also the sake of men around the world and You have been a figure for many myself included But do know that the way you have been going is not the way forward 
I hope you take this message seriously and frankly I hope other YouTubers also start talking about this because I think the space has been a bit dry in this match other than Ryan Hogan actually I haven't seen anyone speak about this so I'll see you guys on the next one and Hamza for the last time please consider my advice it's gonna help you gonna help your boys and hopefully help the like masculinity space as a well. whole